So example number three, a ball rolled up a ramp after 3.25 seconds reaches its maximum displacement. It then rolled down back to the point of release. What's the initial velocity? What's the acceleration of the ball? Now a little picture actually helps quite a bit and we'll get to the solution right now. So in this case, what we're doing is pushing a ball up a ramp. We have an initial velocity at the beginning, which is unknown. At the top, though, at its highest point, we know that the final velocity is zero. And that's one of the keys to this. We also know that the uh, distance that it traveled was 8.15 meters, and the time to go from the bottom to the top was 3.25 seconds. So we know lots of information. Initial velocity is unknown. Final velocity is zero. Time of flight or time of travel is 3.25 seconds. And the displacement during that time is 8.15 meters. And so using our four kinematic expressions, we look for an equation or formula that does not have what? Well, it doesn't have A. And that, of course, is D is equal to VF plus VI over 2 times T. And we have to solve for VI. So to do that, we go 2D over T. What I did was multiply both sides by 2, divide both sides by T, and I end up with VF plus VI. Then, to solve for VI, I go 2D over T minus VF. Now, it doesn't really matter much right now because VF is zero anyways, but we get VI. And so 2 times 8.15 meters divided by the time, 3.25 seconds minus zero is equal to VI. And of course, our solution our solution is 5.015 meters per second. And of course, we'd round that to 5.02 meters per second. All right, and that was the uh, uh, initial velocity. Now, what was the acceleration? Well, we could go up to the top here and say, since the initial velocity was unknown, or in this case, the initial velocity now we know, was 5.015 meters per second. The distance was 8.15 meters. The time was 3.25 seconds, and we want to know what the acceleration was. Um, we might want to look at using uh, this equation where um, a is equal to, and we of course are also know that VF is equal to zero. We might want to look at the equation uh, A is equal to VF minus VI over T. Now most of the solutions require a knowledge of VI. And so uh, we'll use the VI that we solved for in the first problem. And so we get zero minus 5.015 divided by the time, which is 3.25 seconds. And what we get is A is equal to, all right, 5.015 negative divided by uh, 3.25. And we get 1.543, all right, we get 1.543 meters per second squared. And that would be negative because, of course, if up the ramp is positive, then coming down the ramp is negative, and that's what acceleration is doing. It's slowing the object down. So I would say acceleration is negative uh, 1.54 um, um, meters per second squared. Now, that's a little bit different than what I have on the uh, answer key, so we'll take this one as the uh, as the facts. It looks like the solution on the other page is incorrect. 